When you're playing the extra station, first of all, your heart rate goes up, your muscle tone increases. You usually have to sit up straight to get the best benefit of the exercise, so you're working on your core muscles. Uh, you're mentally stimulated, which once again, in combination with the physical stimulation, adds to a training effect. Uh, the heart becomes stronger, it pumps more efficiently. The body learns to handle stress better. Uh, people can recover faster from a stressful situation or from an activity. And you add the excitement of a video game, so you get that extra boost. So it's kind of like watching an exciting athletic event and you being part of that athletic event. Well, the extra station is affordable. Uh, it's easy to use. It can be used right in the home. They don't have to get in a car and change clothes when they get to some place and drive and pay fees over and over and over again. Uh, and most importantly, it's something that everybody can do, that every child can do. Uh, they can increase their skill level. They can increase the resistance on the extra station. They can play it for a long period of time and still get the benefit. And they can play it frequently. Uh, they can play it whenever they turn on their, their video games. So it's very easy to comply with, uh, it's easy to do, it's right there, uh, and what children need and what young people need is, is an outlet for that, uh, that they can control. This is something that they can actually have some control over, of course, you know, with the parent permission and supervision. What exercise is good? Literally all exercise is good. But if someone can maintain a level of exercise for a period of time over several days a week, that's the best exercise. For instance, if they can do 40 minutes a day, four to seven days per week, that's really the best amount and frequency of exercise. Uh, that helps prevent heart disease, helps strengthen the bones, the nervous system, and is really the best level. So for instance, if you're playing uh, basketball or running or doing the extra station, then you're looking at things like maybe 20 minutes twice a day, four to five days a week or more. That's the type of exercise that you want. Childhood obesity is really an epidemic. Um, when you think of the number of overweight and obese kids, you know, we're approaching, unfortunately, the majority of our kids being classified that way. And it's a direct result of our lifestyle. The abundance of food, the lack of exercise, the combination of those two things have created literally a generation of children that are near obesity and for the most part overweight and inactive. Very dangerous. This is a great way to start beginning the fight of inactivity, overweight, and childhood obesity. Once again, if it's done consistently and they're gaming anyways, why not add it to, to their repertoire? And they get the benefit of it uh, just very simply uh, and it helps prevent some of the diseases that we talked about and that whole generation of winning them back, getting their health back, getting rid of the overweight child, getting rid of the obesity. It's one of the tools. The tool has to also be used with a good diet and even exercise outside of, of the home is really important for the body, the mind, and the spirit. Yeah, we, we see that some of our uh, children uh, use it also to help train uh, so they can get better at other sports, so they can improve some of their eye-hand coordination at the same time they're working on their core strength, they're working on their cardiovascular strength, they're working on some isometric exercises. So even some children actually think, well, I'm going to be playing video games anyways, I might as well, you know, do some training with it, which is even, even better.